We'll be chilling and having a good, good time. Doesn't matter if the snow is falling. I don't know what's going on, but it's been gloomy, gloomy in Florida, but I have to shower and we get ready for work now. Oh my God, I have to hang my eucalyptus. I'll have to do that tonight when I get home. I still have it. I just keep forgetting to put it up. That's what I was looking for. Good morning. It is another day of Vlogmas, another Vlogmas vlog. I'm pretty sure this starts anew vlog um it is day 13 happy vlogmas day 13 guys my goodness i can't believe the days are going by so fast we are halfway through the month almost already we're halfway through vlogmas right at this point the last day is the 25th that's crazy i really like the modified vlogmas i'm gonna have to see what you guys like for next year but i just realized i have to leave for work early because gas my car is on empty and she ain't gonna get to work if i don't get gas so i gotta get gas um and i think while i'm there i might get tyron's little scratchers that i'm gonna stick in his stocking i'm sure you guys are so tired of me talking about the stockings but it's like what i found joy in okay this month like i'm so far from home i'm trying to like find little joys and that is my christmas gifts this year like things that i like you know, I've really taken the time to think about what I've wanted to give people. So, um, I have to work today from 10 to 8. I might pop into TJ Maxx after work because I think they close at 10 here. Very brief makeup today. I think I'm just going to do a sunscreen and a mascara. When I'm running late or have to, like, leave for work early, that's all I do because it's just, there's no time, you know? There is no time to do the extra and I don't want to I don't want to I work until 8 and my makeup's just gonna come off anyway so I'm like what's the point ah, okay I think this one's out I gotta go get my new one I think we've retired her I had her an extra two weeks longer than I thought I would I, I'm sure there's more product you know what let's open her up cut her open and see what the situation is on the inside I'm sure there's plenty of product in here. Oh yeah, oh my God, that's crazy. There's so much product and then we just like throw it out. Oh my word, that is so much product. Okay, looks like I'm holding on to that. Wow, that's crazy. Anyway, I have a few packages coming in later today so we're gonna have to do an unboxing when I get home. Um, I have like, I have a mirror coming today for the bedroom. I'm so excited, a nice full length mirror. Finally, I have some more Christmas gifts coming in today. I'm gonna wrap up those. So it's just gonna be a nice chill, homey day. I'm not really gonna do too much. Like I said, I might run to TJ Maxx after work, but other than that, like we're not doing anything crazy. I, I don't even know, oh, I have to cook tonight. Fuck. Ooh, I'm gonna be cooking late. I don't know what's going on, but apparently, there's like traffic or something today. So let's hope and pray we get to work on time. I don't know what's going on, but apparently there's like traffic or something. Tyron told me that there was gonna be like on the way. He told me about the traffic. So I don't know what's happening today. Fuck, guys, I'm getting all the red lights. If you know, you know. <laughs> I've talked about this before. If you hit one, you hit them all. So uh, I'm hoping I can make a green light and then I get all green lights after that, you know? Also, I just stopped at the gas station, filled up on gas. I was like running a few minutes behind my schedule as in how I wanted to leave earlier, but I was still early, you know, but I just, I was hoping to be like 15 minutes leaving 15 minutes before normal. And then I only left like five. So I'm still doing fine. I just thought the gas station would take longer, but it literally took five minutes tops. I bought my first scratch tickets today. I don't know if that's like, am I allowed to say that on the internet? I guess if I can drink, right? But is it is that like considered gambling? Are you allowed to talk about that? I guess like people go to Vegas, you know, and film that. So I don't know. 
I don't know. Like, that's so I like, get scared of everything. I think I bought my first ones because we would do them in Arizona sometimes and, like, Tyron would buy them because I was just, like, too afraid. Because, I don't know. Everybody always thinks I'm younger than I am. Like, I get ID'd at every restaurant, obviously. Like, I just look young. Like, every, like, last night, younger than everybody. So, obviously, I look younger, too. So, nobody last night gets ID'd. I'm the only one that gets ID'd and they all are offended because they're like, oh, my God, I don't get ID'd anymore. Like, you know, it's, like, to say if they look young or not. And I'm like, yeah, but it's so annoying because my ID gets studied. And I'm like sitting there like, what if they like deny me a drink? And I'm I'm tw almost 23, you know, so <laughs> it's just funny. I, I work in hospitality, so like I know how it goes. Like you have to do it. It's just so funny because like, I don't know. I just like I get nervous every time. So I always have like a backup ID on me just in case because I get nervous. So I bought my first scratch tickets. I got two $5 ones and they're Christmas themed. And I'm so excited about it. Cause I've never done it. I, I doubt I'm gonna win anything. I never win anything, but I rarely win things like ever. Like if there's a raffle at work, Jill does not win the raffle. <laughs> we'll see. We have a holiday party coming up for work. Um, it's in January, which is funny. We do our holiday party like after the holiday because it's like too busy around the holidays, like work wise. So we do our holiday party in January and have my dress and everything. I, I'll show you when it comes in the mail. Giveaways guys, like, TVs and juicers and oh my god like I'll take a juicer you know so I'm headed to work now it'll be a long day hoping for a good one <laughs> three minutes and the bridge goes up three minutes packages came in and I am so excited so I'm gonna open all the little ones and then we'll open the big one because that's the mirror that I got I can't wait I am so happy to be home from work I haven't even taken my hair out it's still on a claw clip like oh, I'm so tired I'm tired and stocking stuffers instead of getting us gift cards I decided to get us each a book and um what else did I get us I got a scratch ticket so a book and a scratch ticket like instead of a gift card um so I got him this book it's called inward it's by one of his favorite authors, um, Young Pueblo. I think it's more of like a self-help type of book. Um, I don't know if he's read this, but I got him a book by this author um, for his birthday and he was so happy about it. So I decided to do that. I think mine is still coming in. Oh, I know what this is, I think. I think this is for my secret Santa for my family. Oh no, okay. So I can't find the book I was supposed to get for my best friend's baby. Um, so I just bought it again. So cute. I can't find it. I think I left it up with my mom up north, but basically it's all about Rhode Island. And I don't know, I guess I'll have to find another Rhode Island baby to give it to, but it's so cute. It's all about Rhode Island. And it talks all about like the big blue bug. This was in Dumb and Dumber. You guys have seen Dumb and Dumber. That's in Providence, Rhode Island. Um, Newport, that's where I was living for the summer. Oh, all things Rhode Island, like Dells, and what else do we have on here? We have coffee mill, lobster rolls, cannolis, pizza strips, ugh, clam cakes, ugh. Anyway, so now her baby can know all the important things in life, which is everything from Rhode Island, basically. Obviously, I'm biased, but books are a big thing. My people love to read, so we're getting everybody books. And then, oh, I think this must be my secret Santa gift. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. I think this is the secret Santa, which will be good. So then I can just, like, wrap it and then send it off. Yes. Okay. Nice. Cool. Yes. Okay. I can't show you what it is because then if my family does watch this, they're going to know that I bought Secret Santa stuff. So I am not going to show this um, because sometimes they do watch my videos. So I don't want them to know what it is. For me, the mirror, that's my gift to myself. So for now, until I decide what I'm going to buy myself for Christmas this year. It all depends on what Tyron gets me this year. Every year I get myself a present for my birthday and for Christmas because there are like right next to each other. So I started that. I don't even know when I started that, but not. again, I think if, I think I might get a Kindle if he doesn't get me one, we'll see. And I'm almost finished. I'm just waiting on one more thing for my best friend's gift. I can ship off the gift for her. I'm so excited for this. 
black, perfect. That's the color I wanted. Let's see. The thin one. I thought it was gonna be a bit thicker, but that's okay. I can't open it. I really hope it's cute. <gasps> yes, okay. It did not break. Cute. Oh my god, it's gonna be so nice to see myself in a mirror again. I haven't had a mirror in like two months. So cute, look at it guys. It's a, like an arch. Okay, let me bring this and then I'll show you. All right, here she is. She's not too tall. She works. I don't know where to put her though. Because this is such an ugly background, but it works. All I know is I can see my outfits now, and that's so much better than what it was before. Like, let me back up and show you. So this is the space now. Like, there's more. Let me back up more. See, there's like more happening here. I don't know where to put her. Let me know if you have any ideas. I could put her by the bathroom over here. Let's see what she looks like. Okay, this is an option. This is an option. I was gonna say, cause then in the mirror pictures you can see the bed or like the back, but like you can't. Like I would love to like make it kitty cornered here, but that's like the bathroom. What if I put it here? I don't know. Well, it's better. Like you can see the space. Like you could see the space in the back. I feel like that looks better. I don't know where to put it. Like cause then it's right next to that. And then like, you know what they say? Like don't face a mirror while you're sleeping. Maybe I'll put it back over there, but it looks kind of empty there. I don't know. Let me know the thoughts and feelings. I think today is double espresso day because I ran out of my iced coffee. Yeah. p.m. almost it's 2 48 i've been editing all day and i'm going to continue to until i'm done and then we'll like do something for the day but right now i'm spending the day in bed editing it's a dreary day it's raining out but you know it just came in almost all the packages i needed for christmas but they shipped everything in separate packages literally everything is in different packages how the hell am i gonna wrap this this is from Santa Claus. Oh, Tyron's in the bedroom, so I can't show you or tell tell you. I can show you, I can't tell you. Look at, can you see what that is? Shit, that. And this. If I'm, if I know what this is, then it's cool. Yes, love this. Look how cool this thing is. It's to go in the little book box for Zoe. Oh, this is so cool. It was like 10 bucks. I want one of these. Freaking books. Then there's this. Oh, yes, I'm very excited about this too. I can't say what it is because, you know. But this is um, this. <laughs> can't say it out loud for insert text on the screen all right santa brought this gift but santa also never claimed to be good at wrapping so santa is gonna hide this in here until it's time to open everything all right i just finished my best friend's gift it's not the best wrapping okay it's hard to fit everything in this box but because i have to ship it i just have to like shove everything in but watch okay her gift is a book basket or like a book box so Akatar, very beauty in the beast vibes like the beginning you know and then we have this which is for throne of glass like i said we think her husband is getting her the throne of glass series so it's like candle i also included some chocolate because it's wings for a certain character in the book this is a little reading light and then we have the final like start of the series, all the Sarah J Maas series, which is Crescent City. So that is what I got for Zoe. I'm gonna try to like, I don't know how I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna like shove this all 
together. If I can, I don't think it's gonna be enough wrapping though, but I really wanna figure it out. All right, it is 5.39 p.m. We are heading to the mall right now. Little fit is on. Clearly, I have yet to decide where the mirror is gonna go, but I have a little sweater on, a little shoulder bag, some like cozy leggings from Fabletics, and we are heading to the mall, actually. It's downpouring. There's like a storm in Florida right now. It's not the vibe, I'll tell you that. Um, but we're gonna just do like a little Christmas shopping, some browsing together. We had the day off. It was an edit in bed all day kind of day. I literally did nothing. It was so nice to just lay there and do nothing and like rot in bed. It was great. So I'm going to head out now, see if we can find any. I, I don't think I need anything, but like Tyron's going to probably do some browsing. And I just, I don't know. I like, I love the vibes of a mall. We'll see. We'll see. Oh, it's so dark out and I'm finally leaving the house. And it's so windy. So dark out. Mm -hmm. Passenger princess in my own car today. <laughs> We've made it to the mall. What are our goals? Secret Santa maybe for work? We don't know who it is. The Secret Santa is like, everybody just brings a gift and then we like pick a number and then pick a gift. So it's like, we don't have a name. It's to keep it like neutral. Yeah, we just wanna like browse a little bit. Enjoy, enjoy the day. It's kind of dark, it's so dark out. It's so early, it feels so late though. Yeah, no. So that's what we're gonna do. Spend the evening browsing. Your favorite place. Uh. Yeah, this is really nice. Try it on. Yeah, let me hold your. I love how you're already wearing Fabletics. <laughs> yeah, I really like this material. It's very soft. Are you kidding? That is a move. There's a mirror right on the side of the wall. I love that. Just popped into Abercrombie and I found these dresses for potentially Christmas and or a work staff party. I'm gonna try both on and see. I like this, but it almost makes me feel like a cupcake. Like, I don't know. I would wear heels with it, probably, like little heels. I don't know. I can't decide. Like, do I wanna wear a dress on Christmas or do I go like leather pants or something? I don't know. I don't think this is it. It's too big and I'm not, I don't know. I don't think, I don't think it's the move. I don't, it just feels too long and just like too much material. It's like uncomfortable. I don't, it's a no. <laughs> you know what I like? These. Look how cute these morning glasses are. These would be a cool secret Santa gift. Cause they're like snowmen. Wouldn't that be so cute? time it is time to get cozy miss bridge and i have not been friends lately not at all um good morning happy vlogmas day 16 what the fuck christmas is in less than 10 days i have to call and make a reservation at the restaurant actually 
shit, I gotta do that tonight. <laughs> I'm making the reservation for everybody. All my coworkers, or like all our friends out, like we all work together. We're all gonna do, I was gonna say breakfast. We're going to brunch. It's Vlogmas Day 16, OMG. Can't believe it. I am heading to work early today. Um, I just have to go in a little early for something. I only work 10 to four, but I'm going in around like 9.30. So not that much of a difference, but um, I'll be there like six hours, six and a half hours today. And then I have to ship off my Christmas present. I have them in my passenger seat here. But I'm so excited. So I'm gonna ship that after work because I should get out like right before the post office closes. So I wanna like go there um, like an hour before. So I'll have time. What, nine days till Christmas and the stuff is still in Florida. It needs to be not in Florida. It needs to be far from Florida. Okay, Miss Bridge is finally going down. She's her own thing. You know, I just keep, I, Miss Bridge, like she is just out there doing her thing, making me late. Just another work day, you know, and I'm gonna try to make some Christmas snacks tonight. I think I have everything for it. I, I'm not sure. Oh shoot, I forgot to. No, I don't need to cook tonight. I have leftovers. Yes. Yeah, so that's today. Nothing crazy. Tomorrow I work a double. Today, no double. So today I get to go home and relax. All right, we are home from work. I'm trying to figure out what to eat. I'm like, do I want a breakfast sandwich at 5 p.m. or do I want pasta? Because normally I eat at work, but I didn't eat anything today. I was feeling anxious, which makes me feel nauseous. And that makes me not want to eat, which is not good. So I'm trying to work on that, but um, I'm gonna eat something now. I'm gonna eat leftovers. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna have. We're not gonna overthink it. I'm just gonna stick this in a bowl. I mailed out my Christmas presents, so that's done. I'm waiting on two more things, or two or three more things for Christmas, and then I'm done. I wanna make some healthy snacks tonight, like some fun snacks. So I gotta get some ideas and then put in like a DoorDash order, because I like to have snacks for work, so if I can like make some like yummy healthy snacks, why the heck not, you know? This smells and looks so good. I'm gonna eat this whole bowl, I've decided. We're doing that, okay. That's so much, but that's fine. That's good. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so hungry. I made some Mary Me chicken pasta the other night. I will link the recipe. I did not film it, but every time I make this, I say I'm gonna film it and then I never do. So I'll link the recipe in the description to a girl's TikTok. <laughs> Ugh. So excited to eat. This smells so good. I love leftovers, honestly. I used to hate leftovers. The older I've gotten, I'm like, I make one meal for three days, I am golden. I also made another coffee. You're probably like, what is wrong with you? I know. Um, I just felt like I needed caffeine. I need to edit tonight. Hey, oh my God. I feel like so out of it. I haven't spoken in the vlog in so long. I'm so sorry. Yesterday we barely spoke. Um, but I have pasta and we're gonna make snacks today and I thought that would be fun for Vlogmas. I've been feeling so good about this modified Vlogmas thing. This is so fucking good. I need you guys to go make this recipe. You will be so happy that I told you to. What is happening? Also, I said it was Vlogmas Day 16 today. Vlogmas Day 15. Sorry. I, like I said, out of it. one of my final packages for Christmas. All right, back on the floor of the closet. Why not just continue? This is where I've been keeping all the Christmas stuff, so um, I may as well continue on. So I know what's in here, this box. I need my scissors. This is where all my Christmas stuff is being stored this year in this bag right here. These are where all my Sharpies went. I needed a Sharpie at the post office today. I could not find one. I had to ask the lovely people working there for a Sharpie. And they were very kind and helpful. They could tell I was like fumbling all over the place with my stuff, but it shipped out, okay? Um, so the last things in here, this is like extra, um, like because, so if you guys watched Vlogmas day four, it's when I was um, going to the Christmas party, the staff party that my friend's work was having. Um, I told you that I accidentally ruined Tyron's silky, beautiful shirt. He like got this beautiful shirt at Macy's. It was a lovely shirt. 
and I have yet to be able to find one since I accidentally put it in the dryer and I was very upset. I was like looking all over for a new one and I couldn't find one. So until we find him a new one, I got him this one. Oh, interesting. Is this flowers on here? Oh, they're like roses. So I've got him one for now until we find him another one because I've been looking all over. Every time I go to the store, the mall, I look for him, I look online and I just have yet to find one that's like what he's looking for. So in the meantime, I got like a, it was on sale. It was like, originally I think this was like 40, but I got it on sale for like 20. This lovely silky, can you see the pattern? It's like a florally, I think you can see it. Hope this fits him nice. I'm gonna put it right in the box um, as it came. That's what I'm gonna do. And the final thing I got him are stocking. We'll go through the list in a second, okay? But I got him this crossword puzzle thing because when we were in Newport, he loved doing the crossword puzzles. Like he was obsessed. So I got him an entire book for it. Every day he would take a paper home from work or any day he could, it was like every week. And he would do the crossword puzzle. It was like him and the roommates would do it together. And it's just like, he really enjoyed it. So I got him just this like 200 crossword puzzle just those little stocking stuff are like I don't know I thought that that would be nice so got that so I'm gonna fill up yet another box all his presents are in square boxes so he has no idea what anything is gonna be he really will have zero clue and that's fine with me he doesn't need to know um he'll know once he opens everything so oh I might have to buy more boxes because I don't know if I'm gonna have enough I, I feel like I'm wasting boxes but we can like reuse them you know also, should I keep it in the package? No, I feel like it needs to be like, I think I need to take this cardboard out. I really hope he likes it. What do we think guys? How do I do? I just wanted him to have one like in the meantime. It's like that silky satiny material. I think he'll actually really like the flowers on this. It's like, gives it a little like bit of oomph, a little something. I told him to, I've used so much freaking wrapping paper this year. You're gonna have to go buy your own. Cause normally I'll get, I get enough just for the two of us. So like, I don't know. I like to pick out the wrapping. Like I enjoy that. And he'll like just, usually I get one for me, one for him. I do green. Yeah, I gotta do green. It's Christmas. You know, I think I've done green already and I've done red. So let me do white. Here we go. It's gonna look so cute. I I've, ha I've really had so much fun this year Christmas shopping. Christmas really is not about gifts at all. It's just about spending time with your loved ones, but Tyron and I love shopping. We both love it so much. So if we're able to like buy stuff for each other, I feel like we have so much fun with it. Because we both love like gifts and surprises. I didn't really grow up doing this as I've told you guys before and he didn't either not as much as adults like it's fun you know like we have a good time but again it's not that's not what christmas is about christmas is about like family and your friends and your loved ones and enjoying your time together and like when you live away from home like we do i feel like it is hard to i don't know sometimes find that joy because you're so far away you know and you're not with family and you're not doing the traditions that maybe your family likes to do and i love gift giving i feel like i'm really good at it <laughs> So I have I have so much fun when I do it. This holiday season has been good. I feel like last year I was so not balanced and it's so weird because I'm in the same place actually that I was in last year, like work-wise and um, location's a little different and I've experienced different things, but like mentally, I'm in such a better place this Christmas season, which is really nice. I feel way more at peace and like, I feel like good, really good things are happening this year that I didn't totally expect or, I don't know i just like i'm trying to appreciate everything though i've like i have my own hardships you know i feel like my life could be so much worse and as i'm working towards goals and like trying to figure out like just what's next um i'm just trying to enjoy where i'm at and not get too down or feel too stressed about things that are out of my control so out of it though lately i don't know what is going on with me after everything happened like last week with my computer and getting sick and i just feel like i'm mentally trying to catch up still i'm like finally catching up with all the vlogmas videos which is so good i feel like it took me so long 
to catch up after everything that happened with my computer. I have a new hard drive now. I can use it and I'm gonna edit and catch up on all the vlog. Bonus present is wrapped. Let me go lay out all the stocking stuff and I'm gonna show you. I've been hiding everything in my sweatpants little basket. Okay, I did fill them to see what it was like. I'm gonna take everything out though, okay? So I've got the green and we got the red. I'm giving you all the updates. Okay, I just laid everything out in the stockings. I'll start with mine, okay? So I have the red stocking, he has the green stocking. My stuff's on this side, his stuff is on that side. So he had different categories to check off. But like halfway through I changed. So instead of like gift card, I got us um, like scratch ticket and a book. I'll start on my side. So we have gum, mints, we have a toothbrush. So that's like all of that. He has the same things. We have a drink, so I got the cherry limeade poppy for myself, and then Power Crunch Protein Bar. I've always wanted to try these, so I thought this would be a good time. Stick it in the stocking. And then the Justin's two dark chocolate peanut butter cups. And then I got both of us a lip product. So for me, I got the Summer Fridays. This is the vanilla one, so I'm so excited. I got each of us a mini, like, perfume cologne. Me, I do the Victoria's Secret Bombshell Seduction. This is, like, my favorite. Um, perfume, so I got a mini one. I can't wait to use this, but I'm sticking it in the stocking for now. Like I said, each of us got a scratch ticket. This one was like five bucks. Something fun, I got myself Uno because I've been wanting to buy myself a deck of Uno cards, so I got some of that. And then I got a book. This is like a young adult fantasy book. I've just heard it's really good. I have yet to read it. Um, I know nothing about it, but I've heard it's good. So, But it is YA, in case you were wondering. And then for his, obviously he has the green stocking, like I said. Same thing, mint and gum, toothbrush. For snacks, I couldn't decide. So I got him these little like Stroop waffle things. He really likes them. Uh, and I got the protein bar, a Cadbury bar, because he loves Cadbury. A drink, he got a Celsius. For a lip product, I got him Blistex, a three pack. See, some things here are different in price range because of like what we prefer. Been wanting to try the Summer Friday, so I got that for myself. And I had like a, what's it called? Credit at Sephora, so. Um, I got that for myself. I got him the YSL travel size cologne to try. It's the Myself cologne. Apparently, this is really popular this year. So, that's what the lady at Macy's told me. So, I got one of these. They didn't have it at Sephora. So, I got um, I got it at Macy's. And it was, like, just this travel size so he can try it. And if he likes it, he can buy himself one. Um, I got, obviously, a scratch ticket for him. Something fun. I got him the crossword puzzles. And then a book. This is by his favorite character character oh my god this is by his favorite author i don't think he has this yet i like looked through all his books to see i got him this one clarity and connection for his birthday it's by the same author so i just figured i'd get him another one by this author he has no idea that i'm doing this this year so i'm so excited oh my goodness it'll, it'll fly away it'll fly away <laughs> okay, i just got my target doordash so we can start making some fun snacks i'm like so excited for all this. I actually got a bunch of new stuff. I feel like that I don't always get very random things, but I have granola, I have pretzels, like I have almonds, like just like kind of like a trail mix, but like Christmas theme because I got, where is it? I got m and m so it's gonna be Christmassy, but I got this little candy cane m and m how cute. I accidentally ordered the massive bag and I texted this lovely door dasher and I was like, please get me the mini candy cane. That's all I want. Thank you so much. Um, I got cranberries. I got cranberries to put in cocktails and whatever else I decided to put them in. I got a poppy. I'm probably gonna have this right now actually because I'm in the mood. I'm not gonna make a cocktail tonight. I was gonna, but maybe, I don't know. I have to decide still. Um, I accidentally ordered a mini Too Faced instead of a normal size, so this that's gonna go within like the next three days. Got agave for cocktails, and then I got some ketchup because we needed some ketchup. So making a Christmas trail mix, that's what we're doing. Oh, and I'm gonna make um, some protein balls, so let me show you. So for the trail mix, I got almonds the other day from Trader Joe's. I have pretzels, and then for my like other snack, I'm gonna make these like frozen little protein balls, so I'm gonna make like peanut butter chocolate protein balls. So I have cacao, dark chocolate, so I'm gonna melt some chocolate and then I'll like put it in the freezer. I have peanut butter, protein powder, and I don't think I need anything else for it. Maybe a little, I don't know. 
maybe a little water so I can get the right consistency, but that's pretty much it. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna just see, see how it comes out, experiment a little bit. And that's my fun little Christmassy activity for this vlog because I don't, I'm, I'm working a lot these, these days, so I don't have much time to do fun Christmas things. That is, that's the Christmas activity. Cheers. I'm not sure how much chocolate I'm gonna need. So I think I might just put it in here and like melt it. I don't really know. I'm gonna do like a low heat. So it's nothing too harsh on the chocolate. I'm gonna only start with a little bit. I add more or do something different. I very loosely looked at a recipe for this. So I'm basically just going to, oh shit, there's not much protein powder left. I don't think he'll mind if I use a little though. What flavor is this? Vanilla, okay. So I'm gonna do a scoop of protein powder just to try it out and see like what, what the situation is and then peanut butter. And then we're gonna, I think I feel like I'm gonna need a lot of peanut butter. I might need to add a little water to this. Chocolate is starting to melt to try to get a better consistency. It looks not appetizing, but I have high hopes that it'll be good. Okay, I'm just, I'm rolling this. This looks not the most appetizing, but I just tasted it and it actually tastes very good. I'm just gonna roll it into little balls. I'm just gonna like make it into a little ball, like a cookie. And then we'll dip it into chocolate after. And then we'll put it in the freezer and see what uh, what she turns out to be like. I'm doing a small batch because I, I'm experimenting right now, so if it goes well and smooth, then maybe I'll make more, but for now, I'm gonna just do a small batch. I used to eat these from one of my favorite like smoothie bowl places, and they charged like $6 for four of them. I have five, five balls, and they're all different sizes, so we will see. I'm just gonna take the fork, dip it in the chocolate, and then stick it right back down. Oh shit, oh no, it's coming out of the ball, okay. Hmm, maybe I just, there we go, okay. Ooh, I'm so excited. Probably gonna have extra chocolate. If these turn out good, I'm probably gonna wanna make these all the time. I'm sure there is a better way of doing this because these look like just little tiny blobs, but I'm gonna crush up some M&Ms and put them on top, I think. I'm gonna just take a few. I don't know what else to use, so I'm gonna use my little muddler thing. Let's see what she looks like. Cute. How adorable. Okay, it's like I'm playing Tetris, but they're in. They are up there and they're in, and I don't know how long I'm gonna leave them in for. I'm just gonna see how long it takes. I'm having so much fun right now. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm just playing around and it's fun. So, I have a bowl here, and I'm gonna make like my little, my little trail mix. I have my M&Ms here, my almonds, my oats. I got honey almonds because the other recipes I saw called for like honey, Cheerios and I don't really, I don't have those. So plus like we normally use granola in the house anyway. So I figure like get something we already use so I don't waste anything. Almonds. Oh shit, that's way too many. Back in the bag you go. Okay. I'm gonna try this, it smells so good. Mmm, oh my god, it's gonna be so good. Granola. I'm gonna make it festive AF. How festive? Doesn't that look so festive with the green and red M&Ms? So we have almonds, honey granola, pretzels. I feel like I should add something else to this. Obviously making a huge mess over here, but I've been snacking on this trail mix. It's actually so good. But I had some leftover chocolate. So I added some peanut butter to it, and I'm gonna see what it tastes like on the trail mix. I'm afraid to ruin the whole thing, so I'm just gonna add a little. But I don't want it to be ruined either. And then it like, I ruined the whole snack. I'm not the biggest chocolate person, but I like a little bit of it. 
Here's what she looks like. Let's try her. I don't think I'm gonna put all of it on though. I think I'm gonna leave it plain. Mmm. That's good if you want a little sweet treat. Okay, I like it. But I think I'm gonna leave the trail mix as is. And I'm gonna take it to work in the next few days. Oh, I'm so excited about it. All right, I'm gonna see if these are frozen yet. They look frozen. Let's take a look. Oh, I think they're frozen. Look at that. Okay, I'm gonna try the mini one. Oh, that's cold. I'm gonna try the mini one and see. Oh, I should have definitely put like, I should have put some kind of foil down, but look. Cheers. Mmm. Oh, wow. That's good. Especially if you want some kind of like sweet treat, but like nothing too much. Like this. Oh, these turned out successful. I know they weren't the most like Christmassy, but I'm very happy now. I have snacks for the next few days. I'm gonna stick these back in the freezer so they stay cold, but look how good. I'm so excited. All right, guys, I am in bed. Ooh, it's been a long, long week. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like I was on like a roller coaster this week like since i was just watching my last vlog from that i it was like days seven eight and nine i still have to edit two vlogs i'm gonna edit one tomorrow oh my god since then i'm like what is even ha i have no idea what's even happened i just it's just been a week i'm going to read i have told myself today i need to get back on my shit back on my good healthy habits just like get back to it i feel like i've been so off i can feel it in my body with all of my my energy, my health, my wellness, like even my water intake. I didn't even finish a full bottle today and I always finish a full bottle. I'm gonna drink this, finish my at least one bottle today. I don't even remember the last time I did a gratitude journal. I'm gonna get back into that starting tomorrow. Um, it's so crazy, like life has changed so much since I moved to Florida and like all of the good things I did for myself are just like out the window. I don't do anything anymore. I'm still reading this book. I've been reading this for far too long. Actually, I'm gonna see. I, I posted a picture on my Instagram story. And I'm gonna see when I started this and I'm gonna be so mad with myself. I just know it because I like to finish books within like mm, a week tops if I can, maybe two. I thought I was gonna be at 50 books this month. Um, I'm only at 39. This one will be 39. So I have to read at least 40 this year. So I need to get, read one more book. Like I have to. November 18th, I've been reading this book for a month. November 18th, I started this book. One month. That means I need to finish it. There is no way. It's not that this book is bad. This book is so good. Sarah J Moss is amazing. All of her books are so good. I, like, just with work and with, like, my day-to-day -day routine, like, I have just been so off my whole, myself. I've not put myself lately. And all of the things that are important to me have gone right out the window. And I don't want that. So I'm going to work on that. So we're going to read and just relax every night we're gonna read again oh i miss newport for like living so close to the yoga studio and like everything just being so accessible anyway 